you know, you were competitive this time and, um, and you know, some nice counters and, um, and in, in the end, uh, um, you know, it, it was, it was his effort from the standpoint of, um, his defense as well as, was, as well as the takedown that he got, uh, um, in the second period. Coach, I know you talk about, you know, for most of the season, you've talked about needing to see a lot more aggressiveness and that, that want from Carter or a lot of guys, but specifically Carter, specific, specifically Carter with him winning the match, you know, dual, dual on the line, dual on the line, dual on the line. Uh, how fulfilling is it just to see as a coach to see, you know, true freshmen understand what you're trying to coach? And yeah, I think it's just, you know, those, these are moments in, your, in time that you can get a lot better. You know, you can you can you can feel yourself uh, performing in, in situations. We've talked about it often. You know, you got to perform in situations, critical moments in the match. You know, I thought I thought that uh, uh, the, the third takedown in the first period was real important. I mean, he was struggling a little bit holding him down. You know, it was four to two. Uh, uh, the kid kid kind of almost countered him for almost for a takedown and could have made it 4-4. Instead, you know, he picks up that third takedown and with the right out at the end of that period and, and making it 6-2 going into the second period. And those are those are big, big critical moments that, that we we really focused on last week when he was wrestling. Uh, you know, he was uh, in, in two of the periods, two of the three periods, uh, scored points and in the last 15 seconds, the guy escaped. So. Um, I think the, the most enjoyable part of that match for me was he held him down after the last takedown. You know, even though we know that the match is over, you know, those are, those are like moments that, okay, exactly. You know, you don't give up another point, you know, when you've secured your, your major decision. What can wins like today do for a guy like Carter or a guy like Luke Server? Well, I mean, just, yeah, I mean, it's a, it's a big win. You need to be motivated. You need to be coming in and, and planning on bigger and better things as we, we go into postseason, right? And, and, and just, uh, just be excited and know that uh, you, know, you did something that was, uh, uh, for both of them, you did something that was a, a great experience. And great experiences need to take us, take us up, you know, and, 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 and see what we can be, you know. And, um, but I will go back to Dayton and tell you that, uh, you know, it took uh, uh, two hard takedowns and, and, a, and a ride out um, at the end of that third period. You know, there was nothing easy about uh, that major decision. You know, I think you get out there and you start hustling and you start brawling a little bit rather than focusing on your skill and your technique. It's easy to do that. And, and sometimes you just have to if you don't feel something, right? And I thought he... I thought he brawled himself to a major decision and put us in really good position as Carter stepped out. In a similar vein to Scott's question, what did you see from Daniel and Jalen stepping in, and what can a day like today be for them? You know, it's uh, it's an opportunity. You know, and I think in, in both of those matches, uh, they gave up uh, uh, decisions. I mean, that's that's not what we're about, right? I mean. I would hope that they both recognize that they can get a lot better, you know. But I think uh, both of them felt like I need to keep I need to keep this reasonable, and I got to I got to be competitive, and and um, and maybe losing by a decision is is what they were thinking, you know. And that's okay for now. But I hope that they have higher expectations in the future. And they did their job for us, definitely. Coach, going back to. Going back to 57 and going back to 57 and 65. Going back to 57 and 65. Uh, do you have an update on Wyatt Sheets or Travis Whitley? I think Wyatt. Pretty simple. Him him being back. Um, rather quickly. You know, I, th I think he could have wrestled today, uh, but I don't think it would have been a, any different result than what Manabog did. And so that's why I didn't wrestle. Uh, uh, you know, it's a it's a three to four day um, healing process, and it should be ready in the middle of the week. Woodlake, we'll find out a little bit more in, in the future. With Whitley, was it, I know you said you weren't sure, but was it his left? It knee? was his knee. It was his knee. Yeah. Okay. I mean, 
we solve it. Uh, you know, it's uh, been been kind of an odd year with these injuries. And, uh, you just learn to move past them quickly. You know, sit around and mope and pout and talk about what you don't have. Uh, you're going to find out you have nothing. You know, so uh, I think that uh, put a little pressure on the team when, when, they, when you realize you got two more guys out of your lineup. And uh, I, thought, I thought most of them responded to it, right? And I thought a couple of them just struggled. And so uh, we'll take those struggles for those two. I think when we talk about uh, Mastro Giovanni and and um, gear, uh, let's take these struggles and get better in the next two weeks and, and focus on what we didn't do. And let's focus on what we can do. These, this can help them, you know. It's a lot, it's a lot, it's a lot much more soothing for, for you know, your teammates to, uh, to see that win at the end, right? Even in a loss, individual loss, it's just, you know, it, I need to be like, more like them. I need I need to be more like what we saw in the last uh, three three out of the last four matches, you know. And not not criticizing anyone, but I think they can we can we can get better. Those two that struggled with their win, with with uh, being com being competitive and finding finding some offensive takedowns. Uh, I think that um, the team really helped them here as we go into next week. With the the next two weeks off until the twelves, how do you balance? Sharpening things, improving things, but also getting guys healthy and making sure there's no new injuries. Yeah, that, that well, up. You, 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 you know, you don't sit back and you don't wait. You know, you're not going to dance, you know, tiptoe around them. You know, it's going to take hard work in the next two weeks. You know, and nothing, nothing that we haven't been doing, but it's going to be hard work. You know, and so um, you don't tiptoe, you know, and, and worry about. Petting people right now. I mean, it, it takes tough, tough people right now, and, and I think that uh, uh, we found we saw some tough people tonight in performance. Yeah. After Mastro sat, um, lost his belt, and you guys went down sixteen to ten, what was kind of going through your head and your message? Nothing. I, I just was like, hey, we got we got Dayton Fix coming up, right? We need four, four to six points. You know we're going to have to win both matches. I mean, you you knew that right away. But you know you wanted that you wanted that you wanted Dayton to get into that four to six range. And um, I think that uh, he helped himself a lot with with that second takedown in the first period and went up four to one, rode him out. Um, those are big big ride outs. You know instead of making it four to two and he goes back down. You know he went back down and that uh, um, actually. Uh, I think he deferred and Dayton took, took down. Took down, yeah. 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 And so, anyway, if you look at uh, you look at two takedowns in the first, and and uh, and his next two takedowns are in the third. No takedown in the second, and he found a way to get a major decision with with what? What was it? Seven, eight seconds left. Yeah, you know, tough, tough. Coach, the other thing I've noticed is that almost always you guys start home duels at 125. You started uh, Friday night at, what was it, I think 33. You started today at 49. Uh, you started today at 49. Uh, well, you started today they at They wanted to flip. They wanted to flip. So and is, they chose 149. Is it the away team's choice then? Yeah. Okay. So if, if a coach wants to uh, not start at 125, they have that option. Okay. So if they flip the coin and – Whatever they call, if they call heads and it lands on heads, they, they get to name the weight they want to start, okay. right? And if it if it if it falls on tails, I get to name the weight. Right. Normally, I'd go 125. So, uh, but, but a lot of times we agree at 25 because it's traditional and uh, mm -hmm. a lot of people like to see 25 the heavyweight. For Dayton, how much more difficult is it for him to pick up a major when he knows he needs a major? The other guy knows he needs a major. It's hard, but in the building does. Yeah. And against, I think a kid's a kid's a competitive kid. A kid competing in, at, at the national tournament. I mean, he's 
uh, he's he's a competitive kid, you know. And, and uh, Dayton's had some, um, you know, had some tough bouts. If you remember um, in the Big Twelve last year, you know, uh, needed to get a major for us to to win right win the Big Twelve outright. You know, he struggled getting that major. You know, so um, you know it's a good kid. He's majoring in a good kid. Kid that's won a lot of matches. In, in the same breath, how significant is it? Because then it doesn't take the, put the pressure on Carter. He's able to go out and just kind of wrestle his match instead of thinking, I have to be the one who gets those bonus points because Dayton just got one for us. Yeah, well, I don't know. You know, Carter is a little, he's out there. I don't know if he knew, you know, like me, you know. So, he said, Carter, where you at? <laughs> no, he might have knew. I don't know. You might ask him to be coming in. Uh, um, but, but let's say this is, uh, listen, um, you step out there, you know, last year, you, you, at this time, you're wrestling in the regional, regional tournament, you know, at, at Stillwater High. Uh, listen, uh, he, he helped all of us realize OSU's winning this duel. There's no ifs, ands, and buts, you know, and I, th I, th I thought he did it in, in, pretty much in the first period, you know, and so, that's what I, I, I like, right? I mean, we sometimes we get into those moments like that for somebody that, not, you know, for somebody like Carter, you know, you might stand around for, like we've seen over and over again, guys standing around in the first period and doing nothing, you know? And, and, and so, you know, we needed that, you know, not just the win, the team win, but we needed someone to go, okay, this is a critical moment, how are you gonna perform? We needed someone to go out and score three takedowns. We needed somebody to follow it up with a major decision. We're winning this dual meet, you know, and and I think that's if I had to sum this whole thing up, that's what you know he showed. A young guy showed the team, both him and Dayton. You know, I got to get a major decision. Dayton Fix got to get a major decision. He went out and got one, right? Carter Carter Young is in a. This kid is not a bad kid, you know. Um, if you go and stand around the first period, um, you know, we're probably going to see the match in the last minute. Who wins? You know, and, and I just, I, I love that, that he just said, hey, Oklahoma State is winning this dual meet tonight. Let me show you how to do it. For more information, you can visit TulsaWorld.com.